They haven't wasted any time at no all. No time wasted. They've gone for it straight away. So Marcus, Marcus Lawler, Lawler in the middle. Certainly well being watched out for here as the women's ceremony takes place. They're straightening up and it's looking good for IT Carlo. Adam Murphy is going very well also. Marcus Lawler is coming through and he's going to get the win. Marcus Lawler is going to win line. this. 20. And in second position, it was Craig Newell. That was 2084 in the end. And he smashed the championship record by 14 hundreds. It was three years ago that he'd set that. And Marcus Lawler wins absolutely superbly. Craig Newell in second place for Ulster University. Whew, that is coming thick and fast. We almost missed that one. There was a couple oh. of people missing outside of Marcus. One outside and one on the inside. So for the first 50 metres or so, Marcus was just making up the stagger on the outside athlete in lane seven, I think it is, six, possibly seven. So Marcus in the middle there, you can see, is completely on his own. Uh, Craig Newell and Brandon Array also in the mix there as well. And Adam Murphy, his compatriot from uh, IT Carlo as well, were battling it out for silver bronze. So Marvellous. Marcus Lawler gets the victory in the men's 200 metres, 20.83 seconds for IT Carlo. Craig Newell of Ulster University in second, 21.62. And Paul McDermott of DCU, the bronze, 21.80. But that very impressive, a new championship record. It's a big for... target of mine as well. Um, I'm, that was a, a, a World University Games A standard, so hopefully that will secure my spot on the team. Um, I think I've done enough today to do that, so that is a big target of mine, and that's what we'll be looking at um, firstly down the line, and um, hopefully I'll be fit and healthy, come around then and get a good, nice bit of training done now, and um, line up a decent race plan, and hopefully I'll be fit and ready going in there. Yeah. What else are you looking to fill your summer with? Because uh, like you were famously in the last European team championships in Finland and you, you know, got over the line despite yeah. Uh, injury. Yeah, um, that was a, <laughs> that was um, a good while ago now, but that was obviously disappointing. Um, hopefully I'll have a, another Euro go at the European team championships this year, um, but I need to be in the position to be picked. So um, hopefully I'll be there. And then obviously Doha is on later in the summer as well. And, Please go around the qualifying standards for that too, and um, hopefully I'll have a long summer ahead of me. Yeah. It's an unusual season because those championships end something like the 9th or 10th of October, so it's a much longer outdoor season than usual. Yeah, it's very late, um, but that's just the way it is. And I mean, like we don't decide the calendar, so you just get on with it and plan your races and training around that accordingly. And that's just what it is and you have to go with it and those are our targets in there so we want to compete so wherever they are in the year we'll be able to try to get to them yeah. Yeah. how do you change your season as a result of that then um we well obviously the first part of my season is done so i would have had an indoor season um i then took a bit of time off and now i'm getting ready for the outdoor season um i'm not really really race sharp yet um so we're still in a bit of training target the World University Games, take a bit of downtime and go again. And yeah. that's, that's the plan, yeah. That's July in Italy? That's in July in Italy. It's, uh, it's eight, the eight, between the 8th and the 13th of July, so um, take a little bit of downtime just before that and start again maybe with national seniors and work from there then. Yeah. So basically it's into training for the next couple of months? Yeah, then. well look, we'll put in six weeks of training now and then we'll start to race and maybe Maybe have three to four to five races before World University Games, and um, yeah, yeah, good stuff. And then I mean, hopefully, obviously the team championships as well. I, I, I mean, there's there's loads of attractions obviously this year, and for other athletes, under 23s, European juniors also um, it, coming yeah, to the coast. It, it is a very busy summer, and there's there is all these uh, major championships, and um, there's obviously a lot of talent around as well. So hopefully, we can do well. At, you know, the juniors, the under-23s, the World University Games, the World Championships, all these things. Um, and hopefully we're well able to compete, so, yeah. And IT Carlo are keeping you busy as well, of course. Yeah, I, I love representing IT Carlo. Like, it's brilliant coming up here and putting on the singlet because, um, it's you know, there's just uh, I just love throwing it on because there's just a bit of passion there with it. And uh, this is my final year there now, so I'm after having a brilliant six years there and they've looked after me very, very well. Um, in terms of the academics and the sporting side of things, and I've developed, you know, as an athlete and as a person over the last six years, and um, I'm very grateful to them. Yeah, yeah. And outside of the back of that, once I see Carlos in the past, what's ahead for you? <laughs> um, we'll have to sit down and plan it out and see. Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. Yeah. Listen, well done. And like there was 
almost another member of the extended family representing Ireland in the past few weeks, Porig. Porig Almond, yeah, he's flying. Um, he's scoring lots and lots of goals, and he got the call up to the provisional Irish squad. So, um, yeah, he's flying it as well. So, um, we're keeping the flag flying for Carlo. Yeah, yeah. Fair play. Keep it up. Well done. Cheers, Will. Thanks, Thanks Marcus. Thanks, Thanks a million. Cheers. Cheers.